So Michael Cash is back with you. We're doing another flat top again today. Seems like that's one of my specialties. And uh, we're going to do it really close on the uh, side. We're going to do a real square look on top, flat. This guy here is a dog trainer, big dog trainer, so he stayed busy with that, so he needs to keep a good, cool haircut. So uh, let's start out with an open blade on this. Just take it all off on the sides. Put a new blade on that clipper so it's cutting real good. Seems like nothing cuts quite as good as that first one that comes on. It's new from the factory. It's Tolerance is real tight on it. It's a little bit looser when you put that blade on, but this is doing real good. Thing still held up good though. It's been like two months since I cut it. A month and a half. Yeah, it held up good. Let this blade down and go ahead and fade this in a little more right here. Uh, try to do the same thing right here. If somebody new maybe starting out cutting flat tops, maybe a person at a beauty shop or a barber shop or a barber school, beauty school. Uh, really what it boils down to doing a good flat top is being able to work it down, and just keep working with it and, and uh, developing your talent on it. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but you can get it. It's going to take a few of them to really get good at it. Uh, but you'll, you'll conquer it if you stay with it. Put about a two blade on right here to kind of fade in. Right in here. I'll drop back down and fade this in in a minute. Let's go back down to this one blade again now. I'm going to take and fade this ridge out of here that I just left. Close the blade down a little bit where actually. If you don't hear the clipper making any noise like it's cutting air, you know you got to let the blade on down some until you hear some noise. And you can see where you're fading at. I think I've already done about four or five flat tops today already. Probably so. Close to 20 haircuts all together for the day. Had a busy day. Okay. Whatever I do on this side, I want to go here and mirror it on the same side, just like I do here. Same thing. I'm going to try three right in the center. I know it's going to be a little long to start with. So, uh, I'm going to just take this out a little bit. I can take three fingers here and put right in the center and leave this. 
try to leave myself something to work with here, 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 all through here. Be right with you. Flat top staying right in place today. Falling right in place. Yeah, just if there's any change or anything left, just keep it. Be fine. Uh -huh. Any change left? Yeah, just keep, done. just keep the change and just give me the receipt. Okay. Appreciate yeah. you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta go pay some bills for me. Well, bills keep rolling on, don't they? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you do a lot of obedience training, too? Mostly I'm just supervisor. Mm -hmm. Second shift supervisor. To make sure it gets done. Yeah. yeah. I know me and my father, my daddy has trained dogs a lot and I helped him with obedience. Yeah. That's a pretty tough job there. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got trainers from all over the world out there working. Mm -hmm. You, you take them in and train them too, don't you? Yeah, Start well, those senior trainers to do that. They actually take the students and train them how to train. Yeah. Do they have to sign no competition or something like that? Yeah. For how long? I don't know what the date is on them now. Probably four or five years at least. blow dry it up where you can handle it. If you can do that then you can cut it until you get it where you can handle it you're not going to get a good job on the cut. blade or something like that and come back in here and open it up. Work around here. We'll leave a little longer here by doing that three.
Hold on, give it a minute. Two and a half. Two and a half blade right through here. They'll train thousands and thousands of dogs over several years. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Started out 100 and up to 700 now. Yeah. Now I'm going to hit down a bit, Ronnie. Okay. Then I can really see what I need to do. Let's lift it back a little bit. You can see that's kind of ridgy, but I can I can come in here and I can really flatten that out now. I'm come in here and maybe look at this. If you never get a chance to look down that head, you'll never know if it's flat or not. That's what you got to do on a flat top. You got to look down it, view down it. I can see it's getting flat now. I can actually look down it and see. You're playing music now much? We don't have time. Mm -hmm. Played bass a lot, didn't you? Years ago. Mm -hmm. Drums. Drums mostly. Then I kind of freehand over this. These wild hairs hanging out here. I'll just kind of get rid of some of that. Put the 
you about finished with, you just take your comb and run back in it. Just make sure nothing's hanging out of it. I'm going to let this blade down a little bit. I'm going to shave this out a little bit but right here at the bottom. So that cut last year about a month and a half, I reckon, was it? I can't remember. I believe it was a month. Okay. You know, that's good. I can shake this a little bit closer right at the bottom now with my trimmer. Hold this right here a little bit. Blade all the way down and fade it in right there where I did that. Good, Ronnie. Appreciate you letting me cut it for you. Thanks, folks, for watching.